Last week on Bury the Hatchet, I had two best friends who were torn apart. One of the best friends chose a brand deal over her own best friend. Thank God I was there. Now it's time to meet the Soul Sisters. Welcome back, I'm Ari Stiles, and on today's episode of Bury the Hatchet, we have the most fashionable sisters from your childhood here to mend their hearts while competing for the spot at the Met Gala. Trending on YouTube from such a young age and then a reality TV show following their rise to stardom. Let's meet our guest, the So Sisters. Take a look. A story of humble success is no better shown than with the So Sisters, the darlings of the fashion industry. Today, we're going to be making a dress just out of safety pins. A high fashion dress. When Kate and Spade first uploaded their sewing videos, they quickly grew millions of fans. Before they knew it, Kate was scouted by the industry to create her own fashion brand. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Can I sign it too? Kate proved herself as a high fashion designer. Oh, and Spade was there. But they did it together. Of course the Sew Sisters then became a household name after a reality TV show invitation the nation was taken by their teamwork. Wow, this blue color I suggested is so chic. I know, right? It's perfect. Wow, Kate, that is such a beautiful shirt. Oh, thank you. I don't know how I thought of it. Perhaps that is why their abrupt disbandment as a duo affected our hearts so much. What acts the show and their beloved fashion collaborations? I'm done. Which will be buried six feet under? Their past grudges or their relationship and fashion legacy? We bring back the So Sisters to bury the hatchet. You know them, you love them. Welcome to the show, Kate and Spade, the So Sisters. Thanks for having us, Ari. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. You two have come a long way since your humble beginnings on Showtube. I think everyone at home can feel inspired by your story of success from the hand-sewn fashion blogs to a world-renowned brand of Sew Sisters. Aw, oh, thank you. I was born to sew. And we couldn't have done it without each other. Aw, oh, you're always so sweet. How does it feel to be back together? Weren't you two on a little bit of a break? Talk to me about that. Um, you know, that was so long ago now. I think we just needed some space. Yeah, um, I just had so many designs to make and clients to meet. I had to get to NYC urgently. There's only so much one girl can do. I hear you, Kate. Gosh, Spade, I feel like we've heard so much about Kate since your So Sister show ended, but so little about you. Where's your thimble been? Oh, uh, yeah, I was really busy too, just finding myself. Oh, well, we're all on our own threads. So you're here to mend your relationship? No pun intended. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we ever hated each other, uh, but it would be nice if we saw each other at Thanksgiving again. As I keep saying, I plan an annual Thanksgiving gala with all the other top designers. Mom understands, I wish you would too. Well, it seems like you two are ready to bury the hatchet. Some say the best way to stitch things together is by ripping the seams. I think the best thing for you both to do is to revisit the past. Let's take a look at some never before seen footage from our duo's reality show, So Sisters, along with a TV debut of the moment that changed everything. Are you ready for this? We'll be right back. Kate, are you ready? Yeah, sorry, I just got an important message. You seem stressed. You need to relax? I just found out I got accepted into New York Fashion Week, which means I can finally leave Soul Sisters. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this interview right now. Go get her, go get her. Kate, wait. Oh, hey, hey mom, hey, guess what? I just got into New York Fashion Week, can you believe it? No, yeah, I submitted myself, I submitted myself. Oh, no, yeah, just don't tell Spade, please, just don't tell Spade. No, yeah, I will. I've, I've got it. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mom. Yes. You know, I've been here ever since the So Sisters broke up. 
Um, you know, I make costumes for all the musicals and shows that the school puts on. It's such a joy. So what happened the day you found out about Kate getting into New York Fashion Week? Well, you know, it was hard. Um, I brought it up later that night and uh, it brought out a different side of ourselves. Did you get into New York Fashion Week? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are you lying to me? I heard you on the phone. Why wouldn't you tell me? Ah, uh, you know what? I just, I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I'm so tired of being your soul sister. Ooh, wow. Now that looks like the fabric poked through. So what's the story there? Where are you n at now? Oh, I mean, there's really nothing to tell. We went our separate ways handling our own projects and making a name for ourselves in the industry. Right. If it wasn't for this TV show, I would have never started working on such amazing costumes for a middle school. And we just couldn't be happier where we are. <laughs> no, I can imagine, especially you, Spade, working with kids. I could never. And with that paycheck, boy, would ha have to get paid a fortune like your sister to even show up to work. But that's just me. Oh, stop it. I don't make that much money. I mean, it's all about the experience, right? If the experience is a $100,000 salary, then sign me up. Who knew that going to the New York Fashion Week could get you all of this? Tell me about it. I just happen to be at the right place at the right time. It truly was an honor to be invited at such a young age. Oh, really? But surely, Spade, weren't you also invited? <sighs> As painful as it was, it was just my name um, addressed in the email. I see. We actually have some old tweets here from 2011 quoting you that said, Oh my gosh, just got into the New York Fashion Week. Spade who? It's just Kate from now on. Now, isn't that something? You were lying about lying? Oh, that's what I had to do, Spade. We would have never made it with your designs. I knew that, Mom knew that, everyone knew that. Mom knew? Yep, and she was right to name you after a shovel with the dirt that you're throwing at me. Oh, you are so digging your own grave right now. And so it begins. Time to bury the hatchet and find out once and for all who is the real fashion icon. We asked that each sew sister to design a nature-themed outfit for me to model at the Met Gala. And it's up to you, the audience, to decide who will get their moment in the spotlight. Let's take a look at what they're up to. Kate and Spade will have two hours to stitch together their nature chic Met Gala designs before they will face the judgment of the Bury the Hatchet audience. So I decided to go with a classy but timeless look for the Met Gala, uh, and it will really set the host aside um, from everybody else who's there. Also too, I decided to go with some more bold colors just to really elevate the look. So my look is all about paying homage to my roots. Um, I want my outfit to really represent my time spent surrounded by beautiful farmlands. And I'm using materials that remind me of home, which will give me a unique touch over Kate, because she's sure to not have any of that. Five, four, three, two, one, needles down. It is time for judgment. Wow, closet drama. Welcome back, everyone. We just watched the Sew Sisters at work, and now it's time to determine who will maintain their high fashion legacy and who got the lost in the fabric. Spade, you've cut corners. I won't backstitch down. In the studio, we have two creations made by our Sew Sisters, but only one can make it to the Nature Chic Met Gala. Kate Spade, now's the time to prove to me that your design is fit for the biggest fashion event of the year. I can go first. So this look is classy, but makes a big statement. Heads will turn at the Met Gala when you walk in wearing this. I was inspired by all the amazing designers that I've been able to work with. First off, we have the fully silk skirt, floor length. Next is the rare leather turtleneck. And finally, tying the whole nature look together, really, is this floral tank top along with this handmade crocheted leaves. And finally, this gold pendant. Wow, I can tell that this outfit makes you as skinny as a pine needle. Spade, what is your design? I also was inspired by my experience as a fashion designer. After Kate betrayed me, 
During that time, I was a different kind of spade, making a name for myself in the potato farmlands of Idaho. Sorry, what? My look is a tribute to the landscapes I was surrounded by. This will set you apart from the crowd at the Met Gala. Anyone can wear a look, but only the best can wear art. This look is art. There must be some mistake. Where did that outfit come from, the potato sack? Uh, it must be too innovative for your taste. Well, all the fabric is drab and brown, so our audience at home can at least give you points for cohesion. That's right, viewers. We've listened to your voice and tallied your votes. They've already been rolling in. And the true fashion icon and winner is... Kate, congratulations! Oh, thank you, thank you. It's truly a blessing. So, Spade, how do you feel? Are you kidding? That outfit Kate made is threadful. Oh my god, I can't believe you're making puns right now. After all this time, you still get everything. Can't you let me have this one thing? You know what? Whatever. Your fashion world is like so totally toxic anyways. I don't care. Wow, the tea is boiling hot, that's for sure. You know what? I don't care either. Go back to your flat fields where you belong. And don't forget your shovel. But I see you already are one. I was so much happier on that potato farm. At least I give back to the community by making gorgeous costumes for the next generation of fashionistas. And at least I don't have to deal with you. Well, folks, it's safe to say that Kate and Spade have buried the hatchet even further than before. Stay tuned for, for a preview of the next week's episode. Have a good night. Next week on Bury the Hatchet, we're dealing with more sibling rivalry. Bro, you just always get what you want. Relax, man, what can I say? Like, I don't know, let me get it this one time? Two brothers with the same love interest? How will this play out? Will I be able to help them? Of course I will.